Hi, brothers and sisters in Christ and I encourage you, whether you're a believer, whether you're a non-believer, please watch the whole video. I really want you to get the message across of what I'm trying to say. So you'll definitely come across people that, that will say, oh, they're no longer a Christian because look, a thousand years ago, Christianity has started this war or a thousand years ago, a Christian did this. So look how bad Christianity is. But to those people, I say, why are you blaming Christianity or why are you blaming God for the mistakes that a human being has made? The mistakes I've made as a human being, I'm responsible. I made those mistakes. Christianity did not make that mistake. God did not make that mistake. Jesus did not make that mistake. I should be held responsible, completely responsible for the mistakes I've made. It's not God's fault. It's not Christianity's fault. It is my fault and I own up to it. So yeah, be careful. Next time you try to say, look how bad Christianity is because... Uh, like let's say thousands of years ago there was some war concerning a Christian country and the Christian country did that or did this yeah don't be so quick to judge it like that blame the human don't blame God for it and also if you are no longer a Christian because you don't agree with a certain aspect of the faith or that is really foolish to say that you are no longer a Christian because you believe in evolution or to say that you are no longer a Christian because you believe in gay rights that's really foolish remember we Christians there's a lot of division in the church. We don't, we Christians among ourselves, we don't agree on a lot of stuff. So for you to say, just because you don't agree on a aspect of, of the religion, for you to say, oh, you're no longer part of that religion, that's really foolish. Please do not make that mistake. Evolution in no way disproves the existence of God, even if you do end up believing in it. It don't let don't let that theory of evolution de make you depart away from the faith. There's a lot of Christians that agree with that theory, even though I personally don't agree with it. There's a lot of faithful Christians like uh, Dr. William Lane Craig. He believes in the theory. So, yeah. Uh, so what else did I want to talk about? And also, don't be so quick to point out all the mistakes Christians who are human beings just like you are, the mistakes Christians make. Before you point out any mistakes make sure you're not a hypocrite make sure your hands are clean and make sure you've not made those mistakes in the past okay so for you to say oh look there's a christian and he's smoking look how bad christianity is no you shouldn't do that the the person smoking that's the mistake he's making that's not christianity's fault that's his fault and the fact that jesus christ died, died on the cross to take away our sins i mean that's a beautiful message of love and forgiveness. And also, so many people, they haven't really studied Christianity. They haven't really, un they don't really understand what Christianity is all about. And they're so quick to judge. So before you judge, before you point your fingers at Christianity, really, I'm not telling you to read the whole Bible. No, if you're new in the faith, just pick up the Bible and read the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And if you're so lazy, you don't feel like reading the four books of the Bible, also known as the Gospels, just read one of them. You'll really get the message of what Christianity is about. You'll really understand, wow, Jesus did this and he did that. That's simply amazing. He he forgives, he, he loves us, he forgave us, and yeah, he died for our sins. That's the beautiful Christian message. Holding up the Westboro Baptist Church, holding up a sign at a celebrity's funeral saying that Christ, that that celebrity is going to burn in hell. I mean, that's misrepresenting the faith. Jesus never held up a sign at somebody's funeral and said that person is going to burn in hell. Don't let people like the Westboro Baptist Church make you depart away from the faith. Okay, the mistakes they're making, like I said, is their fault. God is not telling them to go to a celebrity's funeral and hold up a sign that says they're going to burn in hell. That's not how preaching should be done. Preaching should be done out of love and out of forgiveness. So really study the Gospels, really understand what Christianity teaches. And please, God is not responsible for our mistakes. We human beings are responsible for our mistakes. The mistakes I made, like I said, I made them out of my own free will. Okay, It's not God's fault, it's completely my fault. If I, as a Christian I do something that makes that that I go to jail for, that's not God's fault. That's my fault. I made that mistake. Okay. So and also in the description box of this video, I have a message about the rapture, the tribulation, and the end times. Please spread that message. Warn people who have not been warned yet. And all glory to God. And thank you for listening.